Hi, it's Barbara and welcome back to Wiki Design. Today I'm going to talk about how to create a footer using Elementor Pro. In a previous video, I talked about how to create a header. So you might want to watch that in addition to this video if you're in the process of creating your own website using Elementor Pro. When I talk about the footer of the website, what I mean is the area that's at the bottom. This part here that's usually seen on every page. It includes things like contact information, navigation links, social media profiles, and often a link to your privacy policy and terms and conditions. With Elementor, you can include all of these things that I mentioned and even more because you're not limited to your theme settings or any WordPress settings. You have full control over your footer design and can completely customize it. When you create a footer, you're creating an Elementor template. Templates can be used throughout websites, and since a footer is usually the same on every page, it's a lot easier to edit one template than have to go to every page individually to edit the footer. Now that we understand what a footer is, let's get into designing one. To create our footer, we'll need to go to templates. We'll click on the left-hand side to access all of the templates on our site. I have a few that I've created so far on this testing server, but I do need to still create a footer. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to go to add new and select a footer as the type of template that I want to create. And I'm just going to call this footer. And then we'll hit this green button for create template. Included with Elementor Pro are some footer designs. We have a few that you can insert onto your page and then totally customize to your liking. So feel free to go through these and insert anything that you think would work for your site. There's a lot of really nice designs in here. For this example, I'm just going to show you how to do it the manual way because you have the ability to completely customize everything so you can add as much or as little as you want. So I'm just going to X out of this and we have our page with our widgets on the left and our box to add things to on the right. So this should look pretty familiar if you are an Elementor user. The first thing that I'm going to do is hit the plus sign and I'm going to select a two column structure. Again, we have the ability to change the width of this if we want, if we want to make this look a little bit different, we can do all of that. It's exactly the same as any other page when you are creating a footer template. In this side, I am going to drag over my site logo. So I want to put my logo in the footer as well. And I do need to make some adjustments in terms of sizing because right now that is coming through very small. So we'll go to our style tab and where it says width, I'm just going to select pixels and I'm just going to make that 200, let's do 250. That looks pretty good. We'll go back to content. I'm just going to change the alignment to the left. Now what this will do is it will link back to my homepage because it's a site logo, it has that functionality built in. So pretty cool. Now over on the right hand side, I want to add uh, some links. So what I like to do instead of using a menu is to use the list in Elementor. So if we start typing in list, you can drag over an icon list and you can add your links this way. The reason that I like to do it this way instead of adding a navigation menu is because the navigation menu uh, has the hamburger icon for mobile. I feel like this is a little bit easier, especially if you're adding like multiple columns uh, instead of removing that hamburger icon. Just I like to do it this way. But again, that's personal preference. You can do it however you see fit. But with this, we can kind of just start to customize some things. Um, you can remove this icon and then we can just call this link home and then link to our home page. And then you can start adding things from here. So if we just duplicate this. Now we have a second link. I'll call that one about and we can change out that link to about 
and you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to add a couple more. I'm going to add uh, services. And we'll add one more for contact. Let's just change out this text and this link. So now we have four links and we can go about styling those however we want to style them. So we can change the layout if we want to make this inline, we can do that pretty easily. We can go to the style tab and we can change the space in between the links if we want to make that have a little bit more space. We can change the text color. If we had an icon, we could change the icon too. I'm just going to change the text color to uh, this gray here, just to make it a little uh, less uh, in your face as far as the color goes. We can also change the hover. So there's a lot that we can do uh, in terms of customizing this icon list. So that's why I like to use it. So we can see that it's working pretty well. I'm just going to go to our section and I'm going to change the vertical alignment to middle so that it aligns with our logo. Now we have a header. We can stop here if we want, but I'm going to add a couple more things to this. So I'm actually going to add another column to this and I'm going to put in a privacy policy and our terms and conditions. So I'm just going to actually copy this and paste it in here, which is one of my favorite features of Elementor. The fact that we can do that and just keep all the styling and everything really just makes it a lot easier. And I'm just going to remove these two links and then change this out so it says privacy policy and we'll do one for terms and conditions as well. These are pages that I still have to create, but for the purpose of this example, we're just going to pretend that these pages are already created and we'll just have the pound sign for it to actually work as far as linking goes. So now we have our logo, we have a main navigation where we can go back to some of the main pages of our site, and then we have the privacy policy and terms pages over on the right hand side. So I'm just going to style this up a little bit. I'm just going to go to style and make the alignment to the right. And then for this one, I think it will look better if that was aligned to the center. So everything just has a balance to it. Uh, now we can stop there if we wanted to, or we can add a little bit more. I'm actually going to add a completely new one column structure below this. And from here, I'm just going to drag over a text editor widget and we can add our copyright information to the bottom. This is something that you'll notice in a lot of footers. So I'm just going to add that. And I'll go to my style tab and center that. The last thing that I want to do, I think, is just add a color to this entire section, just to give it a little bit of separation from the main content. So I'm going to click on this section, go to style, and I'll select background color, and I'm just going to make it like a light gray. I'll just copy that. And we'll do the same thing for the section below it. There we go. So I think that's looking pretty good. A couple of things that I would want to do is just add some padding to the top and then add some padding to the bottom. So this isn't right up against the top. I think it just gives it a little bit more breathing room. That would be good. So let's just add 
a little bit 20 pixels to the top of this one and then I go to advanced again and 20 pixels to the bottom. And now we have a footer design. I think that looks pretty good. This is pretty simple. Like I said before, you can customize this and add as many things as you want. If you wanna add social media icons, you can do that. You can add a opt-in to your email list, your contact information, really whatever you want. You go through the Elementor widgets and see what they have to offer because there is so many different things that you can do. We need to check this on tablet and mobile versions and make any adjustments so that we make sure that it looks good on all devices. So we're going to go to our responsive mode and we'll click tablet first. And I'm going to make this logo full width. So I'm just going to do 100 and then I think we can make this 50 and adjust this column to 50 as well. And we'll just center this logo on tablet. And I think the last thing that I'm going to do on tablet is just change the alignment of that so that it's not butted up against the right hand side. And then on mobile, I think we're looking pretty good on mobile. I just want to adjust this on mobile so that it is centered. And I think that looks pretty good on all devices. Just go back to tablet, go back to desktop. I think everything looks pretty good. Now we have to hit publish. And once we hit publish, we'll need to set our conditions. In most cases, you are going to have the footer on every page of the website. So when you hit add conditions, it'll pull up entire site and that should be good enough for you. But if you did want to create custom footers, you do have the option to do that as well. Just do the drop down to pick uh, archive singular or if you're using WooCommerce you can have a footer specifically for WooCommerce pages and then whatever you pick you'll get different options. For this example I'm just going to do what's most commonly done which is place the footer on the entire site. So we'll hit that and then we'll hit save and close and now our footer is published so we can view live site and we can see that our footer is now at the bottom of the page. That's how you create a footer using Elementor Pro. I hope that you learned something from this video. Leave a comment down below with a link to your website so I can see what you've created. We publish new tutorials here every week, so make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and our new email newsletter. I'll put a link to that in the description down below. But basically, if you're subscribed to our newsletter, we send you an email once a week that keeps you up to date on all the new tutorials that we've published so you never miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.